What's going on guys, Leftover Remains, and this is a stencil tutorial video on how to make a game save and a load save. It's pretty basic stuff, but first I want to include a few minor details, so let's get started without any delay. So first off, in the mouse cursor, as you can see here, that we created back a few uh, tutorials ago, I just want to add a send self to front. So if you added this in another scene and you opened up a new cursor, um, like a inventory or something, then obviously you want to make sure that this icon stays in front of it and doesn't go behind it. Next, you also want to make a scene attribute, which you can do by going to the scene behaviors, create new, design mode, scene behavior, type in a name, and put, for this one, I put in all scenes. So any scene that would include a mouse cursor in this case would have this script, or that might have a health icon, or or a HUD or money or whatever. Put something that way you can add it to all scenes. Make sure you attach it to those scenes. So if it's all these scenes except this one, make sure that all of these scenes have it or else it won't show. And you'll be curious just to, just as a warning because that's happened to me before where I wondered why my stuff wasn't working. I just simply forgot to attach it to the scene. Next. After you make sure that you created the cursor, because this is, again, no different from what we did in the main menu, as you can see here, it's no different. I just decided not to put that one in the behavior. I just left it as is. Now that we have this, and you made sure that it was already in the scene, you're going to make another scene behavior called the save HUD. And within this scene, you're going to include these two little tidbits of screen of script. So if action one was pressed, in my case it's the button Z, and save HUD open is false, then after 0.1 seconds you create the save HUD icon and you save and you create the save button, create it, as well as you set the save HUD open to true. Now of course these are booleans, and the next part of this is the reverse. So if it's open and it was pressed again, then after 0.1 seconds you set it to false. Now over here in the save HUD, I just made a quick basic thing. I added a collision. I could set it from whatever I want. In this case, I decided to change it and set it to cannot touch anything. Next, you also want to make sure that the physics cannot move and the rest will go gray. You don't need to worry about that. Everything is fine here, nothing there. And for the always, you anchor self to screen. That way, if you have this really huge screen, it'll always stay where you want it to on the screen and you make sure that if it's set to false, then you kill self. Same with the save button, you anchor self to screen. However, same goes here, you kill self if it is false. And here is the, P I don't really know how to say it in French, so I'll just say, this is that gravy stuff you put on mashed potatoes. So this is what's gonna make your game save, obviously. So if the mouse was pressed on, then save the game and then set HUD option to false. So after this was successful, then you set it to false, this automatically gets killed. So no more save or icons in the way. It'll automatically take care of itself. Now in the preloader, you wanna have a load save file and you can get that by typing in save. You can get the load and the save this way and just put it where you need to. Now if I'm not mistaken, that should be everything for the scene. My, my, my. Hmm, make sure that again both of them are in the scene. Now I'm going to test the scene out and you'll see a difference here. So if I just opened up the scene and obviously if I moved it around that's fine but if I closed it reopen the scene then obviously it's back where it was originally started so let's save it so Z. Now I can press Z as many times as I want and it opens and closes it and of course it kills it but I'm going to save it now I'm going to close it, and I'm going to go to test game, and of course it's going to start me right where yeah, it's going to start right where I wanted the game to start. Obviously by setting it to mark a starting scene. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to press play, and as you can see, it's where I left it. If I moved it over here and saved, it would it would spawn it there. If I moved it up there, it would spawn it there. Anyway. What the save feature is good for in terms of RPGs is obviously it would save all the game boolean attributes and all the numbers and what have you. That way you can save, let's say, currency, health, item counts, whatever you need. 
It'll also save, let's say, towns. If you're in a, spe in a particular town, it'll obviously save it there compared to there. I've actually built a way to set it so if this text, in this sense, a town, if the text is true, then you obviously are going to spawn in that town. So right now I'm working on a game that's actually spawning only in designated towns, so obviously you can't save out in the wilderness, you have to go to a town to save. Anyway, that should be everything that you need to know for right now. Of course, when we get to the money and the health and all that stuff, we'll get into that and we'll make sure that that's properly saved as well. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.